quite often. Okay. Two bright students from the same school with very different plans. Well, I've been predicted uh, A star and two A's, and to get into King's College London, I'm going to have to get three A's. I've just finished college, and I'm taking the gap year out to do to do an apprenticeship. This year, the government has begun removing the cap on the number of students with 30,000 extra places. But is that a good thing? Degrees are always important and always needed by employers. Because, for example, the, the degrees, the 30,000 places, are not going to be just allocated to one university. So they're not just going to be watered down. But, as, but if it's shared out equally to all, um, all the universities, then um, it, becomes just, it becomes a good increase. I would say that university isn't the best option for all students. I believe that universities, you know, are a really good, you know, career career booster. You gain you gain you gain experience, you gain theoret theoretical knowledge on your chosen profession. But I wouldn't say that it's your only pathway. That kind of reluctance has led some universities to offer cash giveaways to attract students. Our scholarships are generous, but they're not that generous. So it makes a slight difference, but most students come to university on the basis of the subject they're interested in and the reputation of the institution. There are concerns about the quality of some rapidly expanding courses. We think it's really important that universities across the board take the opportunity to expand so that there are places for people from across society at those most selective institutions as well as the many other institutions that have great outcomes for young people. Um, and I think the risk there is that we don't create a two-tier system. Universities are already competing fiercely to attract students. For those getting their results today, there will be more choice than ever. But will those choices really brighten their future? Afwahash, Sky News.